Good morning traders and welcome to the daily call today Tuesday the 4th of July. Before we get started please understand that any advice in today's session is of a general nature only and that your personal circumstances have not been taken into consideration. Okay let us have a look at what's happened yesterday in China we had manufacturing PMI climbed back into the positive territory for June uh, with firms noting slightly stronger increases in production and in new orders. The number came in at 50.4. From the UK, the UK manufacturing growth uh, slowed down uh, for the second quarter um, with PMI coming in at 54.3 and essentially the GBP USD seems to have hit a little bit of a wall at that 130 to 13050 region and it's pulled back off it so we still didn't get the price action that we were looking for for a, a, an entry signal on the trade but we are stalling at that level it seems for now in new york we had manufacturing pmi 57.8 came in quite strong uh, the economic activity in the manufacturing sector expanded for june and uh, overall the economy has now grown for the 97th consecutive month now this brought a bit of optimism back to the us dollar and the us dollar had a, a fairly a solid day against most of the majors in yesterday's uh, trading session all right, it's now time to have a look at our chart of the day and the chart that I'm picking today is something that uh, was brought up in yesterday's uh, full weekly analysis class. It is the GBP JPY and the reason for this trade today is I'm going to consider it, consider it as seven straight trading days in one direction. As you can see here, we have day number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This doji looking one is actually a positive day. It's, it's a little bit if and in between, but if we counted that, that would be eight and this one would be nine. But uh, for all intensive purposes, I'm counting it as seven straight trading days. So the way that you would trade this, it's a statistical uh, outcome. We're not trading for a massive movement down. We're just trading for possibly anywhere between 30 and 60 pips uh, with a shallow stop. Um, and that's the the technically the way that you would trade this particular method. So there you have it. That is our chart of the day. It's the pound yen on a daily time frame. Okay, let us have a look at what we have in store today. Now, locally, we have a big day for the Aussie dollar. We have retail sales at 11.30 due in a couple of hours time. And of course, the big one is the RBA rate statement and the uh, right decision that happens at 2.30 this afternoon. So in particular, the statement is going to be key key on this one, uh, especially after a lot of hype in the media this week and uh, towards the end of last week about uh, housing booms and interest rates and so forth. So let's see what they say and what kind of direction. Will they put the, the brakes on the Aussie dollar and will the Aussie dollar start to fall today? We will need to find out. At 6.30 this evening, we have PMI numbers, the construction ones from the UK uh, at 6.30. And that pretty much wraps up the trading session. These times are in my local time, which is Australian Eastern Standard Time. As always, guys, please feel free to contact us. If you do have any questions, follow me on Twitter at ChatFX for trade setups and breaking news. But most importantly, hope you all have a fantastic trading day. I'll talk to you tomorrow for the daily call. Bye for now.